Hello and welcome to another edition of the Cape May County Library's reading recommendation videos. I'm your host Natalie. Hello. Uh, so we're going to be making videos and uploading them about twice a week with uh, a couple of titles in each video that we can recommend to you from our digital collections in Libby and Hoopla. So while we're all staying at home we can catch up on some really fun reading. Uh, I'm making selections in fiction and nonfiction, and I'm trying to have a variety of different genres represented. So hopefully every video, someone will be able to find something that's interesting. Uh, and I'll have information at the end of the video on how you can access everything online while we're all at home. Okay, so our first book is Laura Lipman's What the Dead Know. Um, this is available, as you know, my notes on the back, um, <laughs> this is available on Hoopla in text and audio, and on Libby in audio. Um, if you like this book, Laura Lippman has written a ton of stuff. Um, she has a series with a regular character, but I really enjoy all of her standalone titles, which this is one of her standalone titles. Um, they're all a little bit like mystery. I would say if you like Gillian Flynn or Ruth Ware, you would really enjoy Laura Lippman. So this book in particular, um, two sisters 30 years ago disappeared from a shopping mall and no one knows what happened to them and no one ever heard from them again. Um, the police are baffled. They don't know how, if they were kidnapped, how someone will be able to take two kids. Um, and if they ran away, they were never heard from again. So we go to the, we're in the present day and a woman is hit, is in a hit and run car accident, very disoriented. And she claims that she is the younger sister of the two girls that were, uh, that disappeared. And as soon as she says this, the police are obviously very interested. Where have you been for 30 years? And she stops talking. She doesn't want to say anything else. She doesn't want to reveal what's been going on. So this is a str very strange mystery. It goes um, back and forth in time to what happened 30 years ago and what's happening today. And um, it's a great mystery. I love it. Uh, a lot of her books follow the same formula, which I think is fantastic. Um, so that is Laura Lippman's What the Dead Know. Okay, so uh, the next title we have available is In the Heart of the Sea by Nathaniel Philbrick. Uh, Nathaniel Philbrick has written a couple of history books, so this is nonfiction. Um, this is the story of the whale ship, the Essex, which set sail in 1819 from Nantucket to go on a whaling expedition to hunt whales in the Pacific Ocean. And when they get into the Pacific Ocean about 18 months later, um, they're hunting whales and an uh, enraged sperm whale attacks and sinks their ship. Um, it's a crazy story. Uh, a lot of people knew about it. It was very famous at the time it happened and it actually inspired Herman Melville to write Moby Dick um, because it was a crazy whale that attacked a ship. So uh, this is the, the true story of what happened. Um, once the ship was attacked and sunk, the remaining survivors split off into three different um, little boats, lifeboats, I guess, uh, and tried to make their way home again or to find land or to get somewhere. Um, but they're basically in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with nothing. Uh, it's very harrowing. It's a really great story. Uh, very interesting if you're into like survival or um, <clears throat> true accounts. There's a lot of information about the whaling industry as well, um, which was very interesting. Uh, Nathaniel Wilbrick has written a couple of books. So this book in particular is on Libby in text and audio and on Hoopla in audio form. Um, he's also written a couple other books. One of my favorites besides this one is Valiant Ambition, which is the story of, um, oh my God, I remember his name, Benedict Arnold. It's the story of Benedict Arnold, uh, from the American Revolution. And I did not realize how close Benedict Arnold came to being caught, uh, before he, um, defected to the British during the American Revolution. So very interesting. That book is also available and a couple of his other titles. So that's In the Heart of the Sea by Nathaniel Philbrick. And then finally, uh, I do not have the physical book for this last one. So I've made um, a very cool homemade book covers. So this is Eight Perfect Murders by uh, Peter Swanson. Can't read that. Uh, by Peter Swanson. Uh, I just started this in audio, actually. It's available on Hoopla in audio. It's a brand new book, uh, and I was very excited that um, Hoopla had it. 
so the main character uh, Malcolm Kershaw wrote a blog post uh, several many years ago um, where he outlined what he thought were the eight perfect murders in uh, books so it was the murders in the ABC murders by Agatha Christie um, the murders in double indemnity and the murder in the murders in strangers on a train with patricia highsmith by patricia highsmith which was later made into a movie i think all of them have made into movies uh so he wrote this blog post he thought this was pretty cool now in the present day an fbi agent has come to him and said that it appears that someone is using his blog post for inspiration and murdering people in the same fashion as all of these perfect murders um so he gets pulled kind of into the investigation the fbi agent wants his advice to review different um files to see if he can pinpoint who has been killed in this fashion that goes along with all the murders in his blog post and you also start to uncover some things about his past so it is very possible that whoever is committing all of these murders actually knows him and wants to get his attention so eight perfect Mur murders by peter swanson so those are my three recommendations. Um, so if you want to get copies of these books uh, through Libby or Hoopla, you can go to our website, cmclibrary.org. Uh, if you click on the menu and go to borrow, you can find information on eBooks and e-audiobooks, and it'll lead you to the different websites. You will need your library card number to access all of these materials. Um, so if you need your library card number, you can email us at reference at cmclibrary.org. And if you need to sign up for a library card, you can click on the get a library card link, which is right on the main page of cmclibrary.org. Uh, the website will be below as well as the titles and authors of everything I talked about today. If you're looking for even more recommendations before the next video comes out, you can also go to our website if you go to the menu, click on help and go to recommendations. There's a bunch of links there that will get you to some newsletters and even a form that you can fill out to get some personalized recommendations based on what you like to read. So that's our video for today. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again next time.